real, imaginary, complex, non-real, non-imaginary, and non-complex number definitions. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is connecting the real numbers, right, with the set of the complex numbers, right? So the complex numbers here, yeah, all right, like this. So the complex numbers is a set A plus B, um, A, A plus B I, where A and B are real numbers, and and I squared equals negative one, and then can do sort of the same thing for the real numbers, A plus B I, where B equals zero. And say i squared equals negative 1. But anyway, I'm just going to be doing basically this a few times. So yeah, let's start with the real numbers. As I said, we have the real numbers can be defined as a plus bi with b equal to 0. So there, so there and then we have a plus 0i, which equals a, right? a is a real number, so... Pretty straightforward. Now we have imaginary numbers. Numbers of the form a plus bi, where a equals 0 and i squared equals negative 1. So with a 0, we have 0 plus bi, which is just bi, which is exactly what an uh, imaginary number is. A real number times um, the imaginary unit, the square root of negative 1. Complex numbers are very similar, but they should have been confused with right here. Not to be confused with imaginary numbers. So these are numbers of the form a plus bi, basically with no restrictions. So we just have a and a and b are part of the real numbers, and i squared equals negative one. Now we have the non-real numbers. These are numbers that are not real, so they can be, so here, I'll write it out. A plus bi, where b is not equal to zero. This is because they can be imaginary or complex, right? Imaginary or complex. With, so we have imaginary numbers are, as I said, a plus bi, where a equals zero, and then we have complex numbers are a plus numbers of form a plus b i, where um, b is not equal to zero, or mm, hold on. No, no, a plus bi, where a and b, a equals zero, b equals, or all right, b is part of the set of all real numbers. And then we have a and b are part of the set of real numbers. So with this, we have, so we have this, and we have this, right? a equals zero, b is part of the real numbers, or a and, a and b are part of the real numbers. So we have a plus bi where b is not equal to zero. So it could be like one plus hold on. Could be like one plus three i that is not real, or it could be three i, or it could be you know anything as long as any 
pretty much any complex number as long as b is not equal to zero. Now we have, let's see, the non-imaginary numbers. So non-imaginary, so we, we could have real a plus bi where b must equal zero or complex where a plus bi where a and b are not equal to zero so a is not equal to zero b is not equal to zero so now we have so the answer is a plus bi where a and b are not equal to zero or b equals zero so a and b are not equal to zero could be written as a is not equal to zero b is not equal to zero basically that's right there but this is the general idea so this is what happens when so this is uh, these are the two cases for non-imaginary numbers, either real or complex. So if we sort of combine this and this, we get this. And finally, we have non-complex numbers. So th they could be real or imaginary so real is a plus bi where b equals zero and imaginary is a plus bi where um, where a equals zero so we have b equals zero and a equals zero right there so the answer is the set of a plus bi, where a equals zero or b equals zero. Pretty straightforward, real or imaginary, non-complex is real or imaginary, so a equals zero, b equals zero. And there you have it. We have real, imaginary, complex and then we have non real non imaginary and non complex these are sort of numbers that i just thought of like non real numbers already exist but non imaginary numbers and non complex numbers haven't really been thought of haven't really been created or used so this is just a little you know, experiment to see what happens, you know, just some math for fun. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. See you in the next video.